I want to show you how to edit images and do something like this with them. And look at that. I've recorded the tutorial first time. And it had 12 minutes. I said impossible, let's do it in 5 minutes. So I recorded this a second time and it took me 11 and a half minutes. So let's make this quicker. Okay. I want to show you something like this. I will Ctrl C and Ctrl V this slide and simply keep the source formatting to not work with the background. In order to do something like this with the pictures, we need to insert the shapes first. So I'll go to Insert, Shapes, and I'll insert a circle. Holding my Shift key, the circle will be perfect. I'll make sure that half of the circle or a portion of the circle goes outside of the slide because I want just to have this roundness here. Or maybe I made the circle too big, but this is a small adjustment. Now I want to insert the second shape, which will be like a cutoff of the circle. So I'll go to Insert, Shapes, and I will insert something difficult, like this equation shape, which I did here. Okay, let's do this equation shape. What's cool about this shape is that we can adjust how the shape looks. Let's, for example, make a small X, make it like more like this and make it thicker. Okay, so this is my initial approach here. Not too thick, maybe, or maybe like this. And now bigger. Okay, this would be pretty cool. This is my template, this is my base. Now I want to fill those objects with pictures. I'll select the first object. I'll go to picture or texture fill. I'll go to file and I'll select my the person. You can see the image doesn't fit here at all, but luckily we can go to picture tools format to the cropping options and either select fill or fit. It will automatically open the cropping. Select fill for example. You can see the image is whew, it's now better. So we can take the image with my shift key. I'll make it bigger, smaller, depending on how much of this woman I want in this picture. I'll try to catch as much as possible of her. So we also see the flowers on the side and this is perfect. Boom, the first object done. Now this, picture or text of fill, file, and select the other picture you have. You have to download two pictures for this. Okay, let's say that this is the base of my slide. And now it looks a little bit boring and we have those ugly blue borders. So you want to go to Format, Shape Outline and select No Outline, No Outline, just in case. Okay, this is empty now. For me, this was a little bit boring, so I wanted to give it another color. So you can always click on an image. You can select Ctrl D to duplicate it. Let me put it on the other side and you can go to its picture tools. In the picture tools, you have both correction options and color options. I used the color options and now depending on which color you prefer, what do what you like to, to give this picture, the color corrections only saturate the image with uh, the selected color. It isn't perfect, but you can at least say, for example, this is a blue color and it appears gray. Well, there's nothing you can do about this. You can, for example, try to make the images or use a more blue color. Actually, this greenish light blue looks kind of okay. So I'll select this and I wanted to cover just a portion of it. Right now it looks a bit weird. So what I've done, I inserted shapes, inserted a big rectangle. I covered a selected portion of this image with this rectangle, for example, like this. Now let's make it uh, this way or maybe even stronger angle. And you need to select the colored version first. You need to press shift and the second version second. Then you go to format. And if you have PowerPoint 2013, 2016, or the newest version 2019, you will have the merge shapes options. Open the merge shapes and simply click on subtract. Boom. We have now this subtracted image and I'll place it 
over the top. You can see it by the mountains and it looks pretty damn cool. So for the second one, I've did the same Ctrl C, Ctrl V or simply press Ctrl D to duplicate. Uh, do the same. It was format, color and I've selected more variations and I've selected this light blue. You need to remember which color you've selected. Then I created a shape. I want, for example, to cut half of this or maybe maybe let's make it like this this time. Of course, we again, we do something crazy. It's hard to be perfect here. I should make it like this. OK, it's kind of good. And I select the picture first. Select the picture first, shift click this second format, merge shapes, subtract. Perfect. I'll put this over each other. Let's say that this would be my thing. And for example, I could change the dash type, but this would look completely weird. OK, this gives it a little nice touch, a little nice effect. And this would be my end result here. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and I hope that this tutorial has less than 10 minutes. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see each other in other tutorials like this or within my courses. And I hope you will always have fun designing something like this.